Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to cover a very asked question. How to measure the slope of a line? First, let's define what we, what I understand by slope. The slope of this line is the distance between the current value and the value n bars below. For example, taking only one bar the slope at this point is this value minus this other value. To calculate that slope, we can use the indicator momentum. The momentum has only one parameter, the period, and momentum calculates the distance between the current value and n bars below of what we have on the input series. By default this is the price, but on, on our example we want to calculate the slope of uh, an indicator. So we select an indicator. On this example it is a linear regression of a period of 50. So we place that here regression a period of 50 and we select a period of 1 so we calculate the, the slope between the current value and one bar ago and we get this line it is better it is more easier to understand if we se select the plot style of bar And we can see that when the slope is to the upside, we get a positive number. When it is to the downside, we get a negative number. And when it is horizontal, we get something near zero. When market is on sideways, like here, we get a small print. We can smooth this uh, result by taking instead of one bar ago, we can add more bars. Instead of one, we can use two or three or even more. The more bars we take, more smooth is the slope, but also we have more delay. Usually with only one bar, so we look at the at the, at the present value minus the bar one bar ago. This is the most fast slope that we can measure. And this is very useful because we can define thresholds. For example, we can type a horizontal line and define that we only want to take signals when the slope is bigger than this threshold, maybe 0 0.02, or we can double click the horizontal line and see the current value. And we can decide which are the thresholds for the longs and for the shorts. We may be interested in taking long signals only when the threshold is bigger than 0 0.02 or take shorts when it is below minus 0 0.02. So this is a good way to define our thresholds for the slope of any line. Hope this has been useful for you and if you have any question, please post below this video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.